Good afternoon, St. Matthews, and welcome into Noon Prayer on this Tuesday of Holy Week. We will be finishing our journey through Drawn to the Cross by Henry Nouwen. We will finish that this week, and then this coming Sunday will be Easter. Today's devotion is entitled Forsaken. Let us enter into God's courts with prayer. Jesus cried with a loud voice, Eli, Eli, lemma sabachthani. That is, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Jesus hangs there, his flesh torn apart by lead-filled whips, his heart broken by the rejection of his friends and abuse from his enemies, his mind tortured by anguish, his spirit shrouded in the darkness of abandonment, total weakness, total powerlessness, that's how God chose to reveal to us the divine love. Bring us back into an embrace of compassion and convince us that anger has been melted away in endless mercy. Have you or a loved one endured the pain and anguish of abandonment? being forsaken by someone who was loved and trusted. The mystery of the cross is shrouded in Jesus' abandonment for those three dread hours. He was for forsaken, not just by his closest friends, but even by his heavenly Father. That sounds unthinkable. But that's how God chose to share with us and all humanity the heart of His divine love and saving grace. It was as if the Father drew a curtain between heaven and earth, so when Jesus cried out in total weakness and powerlessness, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? There was no answer. Heaven was silent. The good news is that because Jesus endured the hell of separation from the Father, we never have to fear being forsaken by God. We can count on Him to be with us always through our times of darkness and distress, embracing us with a compassion that extinguishes the darkness extinguishes the darkness. Merciful Father, we are eternally grateful that you were willing to abandon your Son so we would never be forsaken by you. Amen. And now, let us continue our practice of praying for five. Mary Ann Shaper, Joe and Kathy Shelton, Garrett and en Enna Smith, Janice Smith, Marcel Smith. Okay, dear ones, I look forward to seeing you tomorrow at noon for our Eucharist on Holy Wednesday. Until then, continue walking and journeying to the cross.